welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to see the problem c uh, four courses yet another permutation problem so alex got a new game called tcd permutations as a by present and each round of this game proceeds as follows so first alex put a permutation this okay and then for each i equal to 1 to n an integer di equal to gcd of this will be calculated okay so basically this means the number current one and the next one okay consecutive numbers <coughs> this simply means this so the score of round is the number of distinct numbers among d1 to dn okay so we have to calculate the number of distinct di's okay so that will be score so we have to maximize this score and you know that what is gcd and what is permutation okay so gcd is like greatest common divisor and permutation you know that there should not be any repetitive number there must be a number occurrence of that number is 1 and that will be 1 to n okay so how can we solve this problem so like let's see some example so if you can see this example n equal to 5 okay so what do you have to do like let's suppose take this sequence 1 2 3 4 5 so if you take this sequence the gcd of all conjugative numbers because that condition which is given is it is the condition of taking gcd of conjugative numbers okay so if you take all the conjugative numbers and take the gcd it will be 1 and 1 1 1 1 okay all will be 1 so that is like we get only the, the score is d and that is 1 only but we have to maximize this maximize this score to maximize this score what we have to do we have to permutate this so how can we permutate this like if we consider this as the example 1 2 3 4 not like this we have to change a little bit 1 2 4 3 and 5 okay so if we take this then 1 this it will raise to 2 this it will raise again 1 and this will get as 1. So we have two distinct integers and this is the permutation possible. There might be some other permutations also. But we can get our answer by this on this also. So if we consider n equal to 7. Okay. So that is the case 1, 2, let's suppose 4. Then I am making the permutation 4. And that's it. Three, six, and what are other numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six remaining, and seven. Okay. So this is the sequence. Like if you take this will be as one, this will be two, this will be one, this will be three, this will. One okay, or uh, this will give us only mm, this one, so like one okay. So we total have three distinct numbers, and one more thing here you have to see like you don't have to calculate GCD or something to calculate this array, you have to do this directly. What you can do, like if you can see. So, what is GCD? And we are again saying that we have to take the GCD of two conjugative numbers. So, to maximize this, like if we have 1 and 2, so the GCD will be here 1, the first number. So, like if we multiply this by 2 again, then it will be 4, the GCD will be 2. And if we again multiply 8, the GCD will be 4. If we again multiply 16, 
Is this ready will be eight? So the count increases as we go like this. If we multiply each number by two, the GCD of two conjugate numbers will be different, and the count will be increase. And that is our goal also. So what you have to do? Just make a loop. Simply make a loop from i equal to one to n. Okay, simple. And just consider j, j variable that will be equal to i, and push in the answer vector. This is the vector. Okay, push in this vector while this j is less than n because we can't go like if it is seven, then we can't go one, two, four, eight. We can't consider eight. Because it is seven, so we have to check this condition. This will be j is less than equal to n. Okay. So if this is the case, we will push this answer dot push. Okay. Pd is j, and we have to update j equal to j cross two. If you do this. You will get our desired vector, and just print this vector. You will get the answer correctly. Okay. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Thank you.